So Israel is finally up from his nap. He's had a snack. He's very grumpy. But we are going to open the nugget. Update you guys on future pregnancy plans. I have been feeling very discouraged with YouTube lately. It is time we got the beloved nugget that everybody is obsessed with. And I am so excited. It's been three months. Wait to get it. And here we are. Sorry, I'm trying to like film a TikTok as well. Here we go. Here it is. All right, it's here. I'm wondering if we should take that cute nugget picture that everyone takes. They put their baby on the box. Israel's about to go down for his nap though. I don't know if I should wait to open it when he's up for his nap. So Israel is finally up from his nap. He's had a snack. He's very grumpy. But we are going to open the nugget. He wants to hold the camera. But I don't let him touch our... Our vlog camera. You want to open the nugget? Come on. Come on. Let's bring it into the living room, baby. Hi. Yeah, come on. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going to pick it up. Ooh. Let's put the nugget over here. it open it's pretty wrinkly right now it still kind of needs to come back into shape from being in the box for so long but I think it's a hit already he looks super excited sitting on it do you like it do you you say nugget nugget can you say nugget nana he said nana you look super cute. All right, guys. So this is my second time filming this life update because I did it yesterday and my files got corrupted on my MacBook and I tried to save them, but honestly, it's too much work. It's just gonna be way easier to refilm this part of the video and just trash all of the aquarium clips that we got, even though they were so cute. I just wanted to 
film a video and chat with you guys. I feel like I have not updated my YouTube family for a very long time. I'm very active over on TikTok and Instagram just because it's so easy to just get on and update you guys and talk to you guys. And with YouTube, it takes so much more effort and work. It's a whole nine yards when it comes to YouTube. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have been feeling very discouraged with YouTube lately. I feel like this actually happened, started happening when I went through my first miscarriage back in May, June, July. We went through our first miscarriage and then we started the process of moving and then we went through a second miscarriage. It's just been really hard for me to pick up the camera and vlog. And I also just feel like our life is so boring right now that I almost feel like it's just like too boring for YouTube, if that makes sense. Like I feel like nobody wants to watch our day-to-day -day life. You know, we do the same thing every day, nothing special. Like being a stay-at-home mom is definitely not glamorous. And I miss you guys. I really do miss uploading on a regular schedule and letting you guys in on my life over here on YouTube. But I've just been feeling so discouraged because like I said, YouTube is a lot of work and it's really hard when I put so much effort into a video and then I don't get many views, if that makes sense. And it's not about the views, but at the same time, it's like when you put so much work into something, you want people to enjoy it and to watch it. And so it's hard for me when I put effort into videos and then nobody watches them. For instance, like on TikTok, I can make a 30 second video and it gets a million views, you know? So it's just like, I've been really focusing on TikTok because it's so much easier to grow over there, so much easier to post and make videos and things, but I don't want to abandon our channel over here because I am so thankful for all of the memories that we have on our channel. A lot of you guys have grown with us from the beginning. I just need some encouragement to persevere and to continue to film weekly. We have a lot of house projects that we wanna do coming up in the spring. We're gonna repaint our entire house. Hopefully we wanna paint our house white and our trim and doors black, which I am so excited for. I have not updated you guys on what our house looks like lately. We've done a lot of changes. We've worked on our room a little bit. I have a shelf up in our room that looks really cute now. I just haven't had the motivation to pick up the camera. I have started so many vlogs in the past few weeks that I just never ended up posting. Like I keep trying to vlog but I just don't go through with it. I just wanted to update you guys on our fertility journey, update you guys on future pregnancy plans and what we're doing moving forward. If you're not new around here, then you would know that we have suffered from two back-to-back -back miscarriages, one in July and then another in December. And it's just really shaken our world a little bit. After my second miscarriage, I decided that I wanted to start taking lots of really good supplements, working on our health and our eating habits, basically wanting to do everything I possibly can to prevent miscarriage. So the things that I have been doing lately are, I take two maca pills in the morning, which is really good for fertility. I've been taking three omega-3s with DHA. I've been taking two of my prenatals. I've been taking extra folate and I've also been taking extra vitamin D. I was also on this hormone balancing blend from Young Living. It's a supplement. I actually just ran out of it. I'm also using progescence oil from Young Living. It helps to naturally boost your progesterone and my OB and my midwife are both very suspicious that I was low on progesterone with my second miscarriage and that's why we lost the baby. We don't know for sure, but that's our suspicion. So I've been doing what I can to boost my progesterone naturally. And I've also been using Endoflex by Young Living, which is really good for thyroid support. I've been doing a heavy metal detox spray that's called TRS to detoxify my body from heavy metals and 
just our nasty environment in general. Aiden has been on Maca as well, and then he's taking ashwagandha. He's been back in the gym, he's a gym rat now, and he's been obsessed with his diet lately. So he's also cut out caffeine completely. He used to drink like 64 ounces of coffee a day. It was insane, he was addicted. So we've both really been working on our health ever since our second loss. I've always had a very regular cycle. I always get my period every single month, but I usually do have a little bit of longer cycles. My period is usually like two or three days late and that's pretty normal for me. But ever since I started on all of these supplements and hormone balancing oils and things like that, my cycle has become textbook. It is insane. My last two cycles have been 28 day cycles on the dot. I've been ovulating 14 days after the first day of my period, which is textbook. And my periods have been five days long, only about two or three days of heavy bleeding, which I'm gonna say it again, is textbook. It is insane to watch my already extremely regular cycle go to insanely regular like exactly the way that your body is supposed to work just by the few supplements and things that i have been doing so it's really it's really exciting and cool to see that my hormones have been balancing themselves out my body has been really regulating itself even more so than before and then as far as what happens when we get pregnant next as soon as we get a positive i'm going to be put on progesterone um, suppositories I believe and then possibly baby aspirin my OB my OB is still deciding on that we'll see once I do get pregnant again and those things are just precautionary like we don't fully know what has caused both of my miscarriages my first one we know for sure that the baby was not genetically combat compatible with life because of the type of miscarriage that i had but with my second one we really don't know again they're kind of suspicious that i was low progesterone but not entirely sure so i'm just super thankful that my ob is open to putting me on progesterone already because most women have to go through three losses before their doctors are even okay with putting them on progesterone so i'm very excited that we'll at least be doing something to help prevent a miscarriage and my OB was straight up with me. He said, you know, this is not foolproof. Like this is not 100% going to save your pregnancy, but at least we're doing something. So my plan is, is that I will be with my OB for at least my first trimester, possibly until the anatomy scan. And then if everything is great during the anatomy scan, then I would move back over to my midwife. But that's all future talk. We don't know what's gonna happen. I just feel really good with the plan that we have in place for future pregnancies. And I wanted to update you guys on this because I literally have not told you guys what our plan was moving forward and things like that. So I would definitely appreciate all of the prayers about conceiving a future rainbow baby soon. Just pray for healing over my hormones and life over my womb because we desperately want to have another baby. That is going to be it for my life update. I'm trying to keep it pretty short. I'm gonna do a verse of the vlog right now. Luke 9, 23 through 24 and it says, and he said to all, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. So if you guys have any prayer requests, make sure to leave those down below. And if they are too personal, you can always DM either me or Aiden on our Instagrams. You guys are loved and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <music>